Today, Jawaharlal Nehru University is extremely happy to honor Her Excellency, uh, the President of Tanzania. 1985, when I was a student, your father of the nation, Julius Nairere, was also given an honorary doctorate by the Jawaharlal Nehru University. And a great friend of India as well, and JNU is extremely proud of that. Let me tell the Honorable President that Jawaharlal Nehru University is one of India's topmost university as well as the, one of the topmost in international rankings. We are in the top 10 in five subjects in the QS rankings. Today, you gave me an opportunity to reflect. The flashback took me to my tiny Koso village at Kizimkazi, in the islands of Unguja, Zanzibar, where I was born and raised. I reflected on my childhood as a girl child in a predominantly traditional African and Muslim community. A daughter born by a housewife and fathered by a teacher. Had little chance and no hope of becoming a president of Tanzania especially given my educational journey where I studied higher education while working. Never had a, I dreamed of having a prefix before my name, but today I have it. But in particular, this award, I dedicated to the Tanzanian girl child who live in the remote parts of the country I want them to know that with hard work and commitment, all glass ceilings can be torn down. When it comes to vaccine and PPTs and the narratives of leave no one behind and global public good became nothing but empty rhetoric. True colors came out and masks of the big powers fell off. India, fortunately, did put the humanity first by supplying millions of doses of vaccines to about 100 developing countries. <laughs> this was ad admirable, but we need to do more together to prepare for the inevitable future pandemics. They need to invest in global health security to prepare our countries for future pandemics is imminent. Having vibrant pharmaceutical industry and in advancement in research and development, I'm convinced that India is better placed to take leadership on this important crusade. We must work together to win the next test. So which your Excellency, we thank you for hosting the first IIT campus abroad, the internationalization of Indian education. And let me tell you, both IITs and JN... We had a very good relationship because it is, it is in this area that we were cooperating a lot with Tanzania to help set up uh, small industries uh, in the trees, uh, what have you. It was, and then, of course, there's a personal... Tanzania. We are sure that this will help us to build cultural connection with the Republic of Tanzania in future. We now request... The key African partner of India, we count on your support to amplify the concern and the aspiration of the global south. On the international stage, especially in the strengthen this pursuit, India is implementing an aspirational national education policy 2020, which has brought to transform of school, skill and higher education and promoting industry academia linkage. Help in nation building and will drive economic growth, technology, development and national strategy for growth and poverty reduction. The successful In the contemporary era, the world say, born by a housewife and fathered by a teacher. It also goes to Tanzanians.
In, uh, Indian-Tanzania relations dated long.